Potent Ponder and back with another video. Please come in, thumbs up this video, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell notification, hit all notifications so you have my videos in your possession each and every time I go live or I do uploads. Please make sure that you support this channel. The Cash App link is in the description of the video. So yo, let's get into it. So you already know earlier today, Biden announced that he was officially stepping down and he was endorsing Kamala Harris for... Uh, you know, president of the United States. So Kamala responded, you know, she said that she's ready to take on the race and she's ready more more so to win the race, right? So <clears throat> a few things. So Beyonce came out, she's fully endorsing Kamala. She said, she sent Kamala a card and flowers and said, Kamala, thank you for choosing to lead in a time of great uncertainty, believing in what can be unburdened uh, by what has been we stand with you. Love B. And she sent her flowers and cards. I'm pretty sure y'all seen that on the neighborhood talk. Also, they saying that uh, Kamala, she had one of the biggest fundraiser uh, days. It says, update, as of 9 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, grassroots supporters have raised $46.7 million through Active Blue following Vice President Kamala Harris' campaign launch. This has been the biggest fundraising day of 2024's uh, cycle. Small dollar donors are fired up and ready to take this election. So, so what do y'all think about that? Are you voting for Kamala or are you voting for Trump? Um, You know, like I said in my video earlier, make sure you go check that out. I did a video earlier, but I said in my video uh, from earlier in the day, I just said that, you know, with certain things with Trump that I understand, like as it comes like to the immigration, certain things I can see, but I just can't, I can't imagine myself voting for Trump. I'm, I'm sorry. I just can't see that. And then also just to add to this whole uh, talk uh, plies, he tweeted out earlier Trump, MAGA, and mainstream media and Republicans are scared shitless right now. This was their worst nightmare. The nominee is officially Kamala, and she's uh, she and she picks up a dope VP. If she picks up a dope VP, it's game over. All they have to do is prosecute the case against the most flawed candidate in American history. Yeah, everybody is eager to know who her VP. Um, who her running mate will be. That's interesting to know as well. So listen, get in the comments. Let me know. I think that we'll find out that at the Democratic uh, convention, and that's coming up in the next few weeks. Uh, you know, November is just about 100 days away. So be ready to vote. Everybody send up and vote. I'm not for nobody who talk about they not voting. I'm just, I don't support that and I'm not with it. No, let's move on. So the next thing I want to talk about is Cardi B. So Cardi B, you know, she went live ranting and raving, talking about that she's not, a, um, hold on. Let me turn my air on. It's getting a little more cool. It's getting a little warm up in here. So listen, Cardi B talking about that she ain't going to be a feminist anymore. So what happened was Cardi B was online earlier, right? And with the whole talk about Kamala being endorsed by Trump, you know, Cardi B and a lot of other people were saying that Kam um that Kamala, I've seen this conversation happen for multiple people. I even probably said it, like just having a regular conversation with a friend. But they stated that, um, you know, what happened was is that Hollywood Unlocked posted a, a video of Cardi B. And I don't understand. Like, let me tell you something. Why would y'all post that video with her, her her eyes looking sunken with dark spots all over it? I didn't understand that. Like, I didn't I didn't get it. So they posted this video of Cardi B. They talking about she predicted that Kamala was going to be um president. And so somebody was in the comments. Of course, they brung up Offset. And then Cardi B went off, right? So let me just read to you what uh the what the person said, and then this is what Spiral Cardi B to say that you know she's not going to be um a feminist anymore. So she said, um she can predict. So the person says she can predict everything but offset cheating, right? And this is what got Cardi B. Now listen, I understand everybody has a right to respond. Cardi B said back to this said to this person, "Why every topic I talk about, y'all always got to bring up my marital status issues? Okay, there's more to me than just that." Did you predict it? I can't get it. She said, did you predict it when your daddy was going to die? Because he dead now and I can be mean too. I wasn't trash talking nobody, just making a light opinion about politics. But y'all hate me. They hate me so real. And of course, let's bring up personal life. Yo, let me tell you something. I would be embarrassed if I was a millionaire of her stature and I was that stupid. I would be embarrassed if I was that stupid. So listen, she said that, and um, I don't understand why she chose to point out this person. Let me click on this first say, page to see if this this is a black woman. Another black woman. This woman, oh my God. And she done got her to delete everything off of her page. Oh my God. So let's see. 
why does she choose violence? And then she's laughing at her in her story. She probably another um, rest in. Oh, rest in heaven, dad. I know you smiling down. But that's where she got that from. And then she's kissing that Cardi B rest in heaven, um, you know, in her stories. Some of y'all black woman is lost. She just disrespected you. And she you weren't even the only person who mentioned something. So listen, um, so Cardi B, she went live and she's saying like, you know, she's going to start violating people. She was like, she talked about her dead daddy. Your dad just died in 2023. Cardi, I want to tell you something. We're human beings, you know, flesh or whatever. Your dad can die too. Why would you say that to a person like that? You think just because you're a millionaire that your dad can't die? Like, stop. Be careful. with Listen, be careful and cognizant of the things that you say about people, because that shit could come right back to you. It doesn't matter how much money you have. All right. So she said that she's not a feminist anymore and said that all it's always women putting her down. She also said that men put her down, too. She said she's going to create a live where she's going to go live every day and she's going to post pictures of the men and the women. You know, if the, the women, she's going to show their bad bodies. And if the men don't got a dick print or whatever, then she's going to expose them. This is some stupid foolishness. Right. So. um and I said she probably gonna pull up their pictures and look if, look for the um look for their print so she could apply some suction to it. Cardi alluded to being um in her villain era like she's Chun Li. You know when Nikki was just like I'm the bad guy, Chun Li. Like shut up, shut up. Um and then you know she was just saying like you know no matter what she says it's like people want to comment. I was eating some cashews. I'm sorry. People want to comment or whatever on what she does. Cardi, you are a celebrity. You're a celebrity. Maybe you wasn't ready for the world, but I'm telling you, this is how it goes. And she's talking about, why do you want to be mean to me or whatever? Cardi, people say bad things about you all the time. Like, people say bad things about, like, any entertainer all the time. I don't understand why she think that she's supposed to be coddled. This is not real. This is not what happens. Right. So then Cardi was still so bruised. She's still bringing up Paris from Twitter talking about, you know, they always talking about my man, they my husband. And then, you know, what this bitch, I got into an argument with her on Twitter. And, you know, the whole time she's trying to fuck with Offset in the DM or whatever. The girl posted it as a joke and Cardi really ran with it. Um, I don't think she posted it as a joke. She was really in his DM, but she posted it to be funny. But Cardi is using this because I'm telling you, that clip with Paris on Twitter, I seen two videos. Her video got 5 million views and it's another video that got over probably 3 million views. That's 8 million views of somebody reading your ass, right? I know she's embarrassed by that. I know for a fact that she's embarrassed by that. So um, another thing that before I read some of these comments under this post from the Hollywood talk, another thing that Cardi B talked on was like that she's upset. You know, she she don't like how girls who, who um, don't have surgery talk on the bodies of people who do have surgery. I understand, you know, we in this whole pussy era where people talking about body shame and this and that. And I understand a person shouldn't be bullied. But I think it's hard for me coming from the 90s where people just say what they want to say. Let me tell you something. I'm six feet, six feet one. I weigh 270 pounds. Somebody might call me fat. Cardi, somebody might look at your body and might talk about your BBL. I just think that people are going to make comments all, you know, regardless, but it's about what you feel about yourself. I don't really care what a person feels about me. You know what I'm saying? Um, but you have to also be real with this, right? Now, it is your money and you can do what you want and you can get surgeries, right? But you have to realize that in the... A natural body, um, you know, may not look as good as enhanced as a body obviously is done up, but people are going to make their comments about everything. You know, if you if you know that if you have a BBL or whatever, it's going to stick out like a sore thumb. It's just like people like even me. Right. I'm a little chunky. I hate when people get online and they're big and they do things like reveal all of their body and people talk about, oh, don't fat shame. No, this and that. No, you're fat. Come on, let's just call a thing a thing. I hate when people do that. I just hate it. So Cardi was just like, she about to start violating um chicks. And there's always women who talk down against her. Women more than men who talk about her and start trouble with her, whatever the case may be. And she says she now, she's just about to start violating. She's like, I'm not a feminist no more or whatever, right? She's not, she's not a feminist. So she said that, so that was that one person on that post who said that she could predict everything but cheating. Um, Let's see. Somebody said, if you do not vote, your opinion is not if your opinion is irrelevant because she was on here saying that she wasn't going to vote dark. Yo, her eyes were so dark on this post. I don't know. Jason Lee shouldn't have posted. This wasn't a good look, mama. <laughs> I don't think you're ready for that drama. They, somebody else said you're not voting, but you have an opinion, huh? Harris beating Trump would make our ancestors stomp and cry for joy. 
She lost me after she said I'm not voting. Everything after that was pointless to me. Yes. Cardi B is ignorant. Only thing she do is talks about politics, black related politics, so that she, so she can get some sort of benefit off our community, you know? Songs is flopping. She got to do what she got to do. This was just a few weeks ago in June also. But everyone called it. So did she want a clap or a cookie? Exactly. She talking about she predicted it. Every, she predicted it. Everybody called it. Girl, bye. You're not voting. So your thoughts are irrelevant. Cardi, what kind of cookie do you want from the store? That was funny. Um, Let's see. Cardi, you're not special. Even Steven, Stevie Wonder seen it coming. We all seen it coming. Come on. Who do who else do you think was going to run if, if Biden was going to step down? Cardi, you're not. This is like maybe some special ed, um, special ed Olympics. All I heard was, you know, I don't vote and I clicked right off. What's the reason? Y'all can't have opinions if um if you don't vote. Right. Somebody said, I love me some Cardi B and I hope that she receives this in love. But sis, if you're not voting, then why are you a part? You're a part of the problem um, we have. And with as much influence you have now more than ever would be the per perfect time for you to educate yourself in the power of voting. She's silly. The girl got a fifth grade. Uh, to me, she do. She speak like it. She talking about she said, did you predict it? your dad dying when she talking about that girl, that black woman? This Cardi B. This is why I told you. I listen, this is a clip up on, on TikTok where somebody posted it. That shit got like 60 something thousand views of they took my video. Shout out to the person who did that. And it's just like I don't I've never seen Cardi B disrespect the Dominican mommies. None of the Latina mommies. It's always the black woman who she coming after. Girl, we don't care as long as Kamala win. We'll be OK. No, thank you. I would never. Somebody said they would never vote for her. Trump 2024. She identified as an Indian talking about Kamala. So, yeah. Um, Somebody said, girl, we all did. You not Cleo. It's common sense. He called Kamala vice president. Um, He called Kam Kamala vice president Putin. She um, she up in the she gonna, she they, they told her to shut up and get in the booth. So anyway, yeah, I'm about to get up out of here. I just wanted to come and do a little video for y'all and tell y'all. So Cardi B, she's upset saying that she's not going to be a feminist because, you know, she's not into feminism anymore because women attack her so much online. And then, you know, she's about to start exposing people. She's in her villain era. She feel like people are too mean to her. People always bring up offset this and that. Listen. This is a part of being a celebrity, Cardi. If you were really smart, you would have tunnel vision. But the thing is, you got too much time available. You know, you let people get you in your feelings. People talk shit. People say the nastiest things about a lot of different celebrities and public figures every day. And guess what? They they uh, either they don't respond to it. But you, it's like you're not really gaining off of this matter, though. Like, you know, in the way that you think you are, you're not really gaining anything. I think that more, more so you're annoying people and people are starting to see you for the whiny bitch that you really are. I'm, I hate to say it like that, but they are. They're trying, they're starting to see you like that. And Cardi, tell Jason Lee to delete that video off of Hollywood Unlocked, baby. The eyes look really sunken, dark around the eyes. He should have not posted that video, you or he should at least posted a filter on it. That then that wasn't a good look, mama. <laughs> that wasn't a good look. Potent pondering, never pandering. Subscribe to the channel. Thumbs up the video. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think about Beyonce uh endorsing Kamala. Also plies comments and then um as well as Kamala having the biggest fundraiser day but you know they said that elon musk is going to be donating 45 million a month to trump so yeah yeah and that's exactly why i'm not paying him 12 dollars to be on that platform listen potent pondering i'm up out of here peace